smell of breakfast. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. This guy has serious cojones. Why does that so not sound fun? I might make Chloe check this out with me. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. That graffiti has been here forever. Gross. Thank you, redneck poet. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Why are you being so rude? 
because I've been on the road for 12 hours straight, hopped up on coffee and diet pills, carrying two tons of nitrate, and all I want to do is eat a quiet breakfast and stare out the window. Do you mind? Drool. Want everything. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Kinkeezy with Joyce? That's so perfect. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked, so I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. She is a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. 
I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Look for the young lady stat. Bacon at 12 o'clock high. I'll oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Incoming! This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. This. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow, right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have a tube of glitter in there, right? Nada. <laughs> Wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything.
Well, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Thirteen cigarettes. I smoke too much to have thirteen cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Eighty-six cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more, something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That's the best song I've ever This is yet. sure the hell better than that. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The 
the cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. He's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Let's talk later when I'm not so high. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and what we do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. going to get pissed at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. 
You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. This was an old school punk shirt. It's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Boom, only three bottles left. Thank you. 
I don't want to go that way. Thanks for the tip. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. That kind of hurts. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Three down, two more to go. Talk about... I want to die. <sighs> Jeez. Who wrote this? So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Those shells look fresh. has its own tale and history. Aw, oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Oh yes, we can use this one for a target. One more bottle to go.
Where there's a boat, there's a pirate, which means booze bottles. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I Where there's a boat, there's a pirate, which means booze bottles. I don't want to go that way. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Voila, now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? 
Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel, your time has come. Come. Listen to those fat bullet beats! Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Hello, what should I shoot? Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Well, Max? Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! Okay, you're too busy to help, so I'm gonna kill the car bumper. Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. Okay, you're too busy to help. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. 
Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I... Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. Freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. 